Well, hello YouTube and all you followers out there. My name is Miriam White. This is my very first video. Sorry to have to look like Aunt Jemima today, but when destiny calls, it's time to just go. Basically, I'm here as an informationist, a future analyst, as well as a psychology major and a community developer. I'm here to share with you some of the interesting things that I get to look up regarding our world today in comparison with the Bible. It is my ultimate purpose to help the remnant of God's people be able to make it into the new system and transfer themselves from this already operating system into one that is going to successfully lead us where we're supposed to be going in God. That means we're shedding off the old nature and entering into a new nature, which is really the old biblical laws that Moses taught the people, which is love thy neighbor as thyself, do not commit adultery, do not commit fornication, do not murder. These are all basic laws that we already know. And um, this world is really corrupt. It's really going downhill. And we have to have the time to look at some of the things that are happening to know exactly what time it is. I'm a time prophet. I'm here to show you how things tie together with the Bible so you can better understand how to go through your Bible prophetically and be able to analyze the things that are happening, not to be afraid, but to actually just understand God is with you always and his prophecies will reveal himself in many different shapes, sizes, and forms. So one of the first things that I want to do is I'm going to share my desktop with you and let you see something that I have been working on. Uh, let me minimize this video screen and zoom in on my document. Just one minute. So basically, the way that I research things is I don't place in my heart to go and look up a scripture and then I'll go and find um, things on Google and Wikipedia and the news networks that have just happened recently that can agree with what God has me reading the scriptures. So some of the things that God revealed to me was some things that you'll find in the book of Revelations about the trumpets. So the first thing I'm going to tackle today is to explain to you what is a trumpet sound. And believe it or not, all this information is scattered across the www web. Uh, thank God for that tool that we can use it now. But one of the basic things I want to teach you about the web, when you're doing web searches, understand that you're limited by your country. Everything that your country wants you to have free access to, you have access to. In order to reach outside sources, you must find out how those outside countries uh, post their information and that's very time consuming. For example, Google is limited to the United States. Even though you think Google has everything, everything posted on Google is posted within the United States and filtered. And that's what a lot of those analyst jobs that people have is preventing outside country material from entering in or we would know a lot more than we know right now. But there's already beneficial information there for us to be able to um, sift through and find some really good nuggets and proving what's going on. So basically, let me get right to it. Right now, we are in the third trumpet sound. We must identify ourselves as the Joshua generation. The Joshua generation is a time generation. We operate in time. Um, and the Bible is a record of that generation, the time generation, the time keeping generation. And the descendants that come from Abraham after committing the first sin. So the trumpets are more like seasons. I like to look at them as seasons. And that just means that they're identifiers to the second coming of Jesus Christ. So this is a Christian view on world events and history in the Bible. Bef uh, let's see. So to track our history, biblically, we will all have to agree that we are from Hebrew tribes. Hebrew tribes uh, descendants of Moses, descendants of Joshua, descendants of Abraham. And some of the Bible scriptures there are in Exodus, Genesis, Thessalonians, and Joshua. The accounts of the trumpet sounds is linked. I did some searching on Google and Wikipedia. 
The sound of the trumpet after we recognize that we are a generation of time keeping, which we all know. Um, what's her name? Janet Jackson. She said one time that this is the Rhythm Nation. And what I did is I typed in Rhythm Nation and of course Janet Jackson popped up. Then I had to sift through what is rhythm and I traced rhythm all the way back to Islam. So it's interesting to find out that a lot of these people we see, we know these artists are representing uh, cults. We know that most of them are in Illuminati. Most of them are teaching us derogatory terminology. Most of them use the corruption of language, um, which will be a complete separate study. And also a lot of them are here just to glorify dark powers. So when we were singing our songs and those sounds are in there, uh, and I'll get into that later, those sounds are actually um, used to force idol worship upon them the people who are subject to its power. Um, and that's why you'll see a lot of Christians, they stop listening to music because they are very aware of the randomness of worship that comes with listening to worldly music or secular music. Um, basically, let's get back to the trumpets. The first trumpet is an account uh, in the Bible where Jesus' death took place. And I also call this the dinosaur extinct period. Um, I am a believer in evolution, in evolution based on time. Uh, over a period of time, that's what evolution says, and things just change, things just happen. Now, I don't believe that those things that just happen and that just change happen by chance. I do believe that everything is predestined to happen and that it's ordained to happen. I do have a theory on humanity, which makes scientists look funny to me, and I hope you can laugh too. Um, they're very smart at figuring out biological events. They're very smart at analyzing the human body and what makes us tick. They're very smart at creating things based on what is just the fundamental of life, based on chemi chemicals and um, and the way the body runs a lot of things they invent for war look just like body parts a lot of things that we use are just based on shapes and um, that's another separate topic but i have to give you a baseline for where my knowledge comes from i've already investigated all those things so what i was saying is Evolution is a theory that is part correct and part wrong. It does not acknowledge God, so therefore it's wrong. Um, the right things are the steps that you observe that happen through time. When you observe things that change through time, you'll see there's a period where things are full of life and happy. There's a period where things are kind of gloomy and in a, a, a wasteland state. Then you have a rainy season and you have a season for prospering and a season to suffer, so to speak. Christians talk about these these seasons all the time. Um, that's the way we want to look at the trumpets. The trumpets identify their sound throughout the years and the ages, no matter what number of years it is, which has significantly de decreased anyway based on the negative climate that we are in right now. And that just means because of evil and darkness, uh, which was already foretold, a lot of what we see is a decrease in our number, a decrease in our years. So what a trumpet sound was between trumpet number one and trumpet number two, remember this is just a season in time, would have been hundreds of thousands of years, and that is an evolution from that time frame to the seventh trumpet sound, which is only going to be a few years. So the distance between trumpets, or the distance between timely units and timely seasons of this world's life cycle has significantly decreased. And we look at the history in Exodus, um, talking about the descendants of Abraham, how the oldest man was 940 years old, and now the oldest man is only 100 years old. That is a 900% decrease in age. That same decrease must exist evolutionarily for this planet. So some of the franticness that you see in scientists is a preservation need, a need to preserve Earth, which they know they cannot do. And now they're leaning to solar resources and uh, other ways to escape. There's no escape. Um, I'll get into the science of life in another clip, but in this clip, we're sticking on trumpets. So trumpets are just periods in time 
from when Jesus died, which what I would say must also have been um, the end of the dinosaur period. As we know, periods in time are like a sheet of paper that can be folded. In one place, something is happening, and in another place, another thing is happening. And the reason I can concur that this is the same dinosaur period is because God said in his word that he would not ever destroy the world by hail and fire again. And there was only one time in history that we know hail and fire destroyed this earth, and that was during the dinosaur period and the dinosaur era. So there was hail and fire and blood that was thrown on the earth uh, from the sky. Now... After that, we have the rebirth of the earth, which is when everything turns green again and planets and all this, and not planets, but this planet was full of life, which we know happens after the dinosaur period, which we have a new growth in life from the ocean. And we can even track uh, amphibious creatures first walk on earth after that. So a lot of this is the evolution of life that I'm talking about. It must have been the period when um, Jesus passed as well. Second. The second trumpet, we'll move forward and we'll talk about this in later. If you guys have questions, I'll be better at analyzing your questions for more specific detail. The second trumpet is a great burning mountain that plunges into the sea. And the dates are going to be wrong because the people who are recording this stuff, they don't have any clue what they're talking about. They think they know what's going on. They don't know what's going on. So the second trumpet sound has already happened in the early 1900s. So now I want you to watch the gap. If I'm telling you that the first trumpet sound happened during the dinosaur period, and then I'm going to tell you this, the next trumpet sound happened in the 1900s, I want you to see something here. I want you to see how far the distance was between that first trumpet and that second trumpet. Look how many millions of years that was. And the reason I'm confident in my studies is because the Bible also tells me, and that's only for his prophet, so everyone won't understand what this Bible means. Um, the Bible tells me that a year is like a day to God, and a day is like years to God. So if God views one day in his eyes as a million years, it's going to be a million years on this earth, and we're going to live through that million years, and all the evolution that happens with it can still be only a day. And if that can happen, then a day can also be what we just discussed. The next day, it was a new era. It was a new symbol of Jesus' second return. And the second return is coming. So that means that the years are going to be shortened. And that's in the Bible. All throughout the Bible, how history tells us in the Bible that the years are going to be shortened. I get excited when I think about it, but I get sad because that means... A lot of people are not really understanding when they were praying for God's kingdom to come back on earth that they were actually praying that God speed up the decrease of our years and increase the death of our years and bring in the trouble of these years, um, which are really dark periods in time. I'm glad I wasn't here during the dinosaur era. I'm glad I wasn't here during Hitler's era. That was all, all the way up to Hitler. That was one era. Imagine what's happening in this era. We're watching the decrease of our lives and our civilizations through drug abuse, through trafficking, through the jail and the criminal justice systems all around the world, the international uh, affairs, relations, and all that stuff. We've got a violation of privacy, open to have our own ideas and natural rebellions, organized rebellion through Facebook and Twitter and stuff like that. So we're monitored constantly. We're influenced by commercials and we had technology era. Look what's happening in the next Trump is now. We went from no technology to technology, even better tracking time. The better we got at tracking time and being more efficient with it, the faster we began killing ourselves and dying off. Now there's more women than men on the earth. It was equal. And back in the day, it was one woman to one man, and they had many sons. So that number was where more men to more to women. Now there's more women to men, which means this nation is being led emotionally. It's not being led physically. And when you start leading yourself emotionally and you start running things with what you think instead of what you are supposed to be controlling, then that's why you see the decrease in the stability of children. And that's one attack. There's many attacks. What are our children being raised to do? Everyone's still working. And the system just started, the system of labor. 
that just started with um historically the black slaves being traded they're not the first ones the indians were killed off a long time ago and this land was taken by siege a long time ago so we would have to track the roman empire you'd have to track the italians you'd have to track the french the german you'd have to go before war and find out who were these people that were traveling religiously to explain all the things we've been experiencing in the second trumpet but the identifier for moving into the third trumpet is way too real so I, to clarify the second trumpet the mountain falling into the ocean in the early 1900s there was a huge fire in Tungasqua uh, and I'm going to show it to you right quick on my desktop Just one moment. All right, so we're in the third trumpet era, and the second trumpet sound exploded in the early 1920s in Tunguska. And I found this article, and it was on Wikipedia. It's a place in Siberia. Um, the government's biggest tool is covering up the identification of our period. So we have to be careful about that, but they can't really cover it up too much because everything is exposed because this is an information period. So everything they cover up just gets resurfaced. And that's all I'm doing is just showing you guys what they already know is taking place. Um, and when I say they, uh, most of the government officials are run by dark powers because of greed, idolatry, and pride. Um, you won't find too many of God's people making it that far because they don't feel the need to control and kill people. And when you spill innocent blood, you can't make it into the kingdom of heaven. So millions of trees fell during this explosion. Let me tell you about this mountain. They believe it was a UFO. That's the funny part. This is where the idea of UFOs come into play. Uh, and they try to tell you about extraterrestrial beings being the cause of all these revelation things that are happening and they're covering them up. Um, but let me tell you how huge this explosion was. Do you know how big an explosion has to be to knock out 10,000 miles of trees and land it in the water? That is not coincidence, hun. That is on purpose. And the Bible tells us that it's a mountain, but they'll tell you it was a UFO. It says 80 million trees over 830 square miles were exploded in Europe, reflecting light bright enough for London to see it. From Siberia to London? And nobody thinks about this as being a revelation? No one's even thinking about this. That was before World War One. It tells you right here, this is not posted by me. And then they can't fi really figure out what it was because it landed in the water. Why do you think they started doing all this water expedition? They're trying to find out things that are coming into this world from other places. So many people are afraid now that it's alien. It's not alien. This is a revelation. Don't be afraid when something happens. Look in your Bible. You'll know exactly what's going on and what they're doing to cover it up. They still guess. Look, it says that they think it was a comet or a meteor. The scientists are clueless. They say they have forgotten one important feature, God. So the third, the second trumpet it tells me it was a mountain. So if they want to know what it is, you heard it from me on YouTube in 2014. It was a mountain. A mountain crashed and landed in the water just as proph prophesied in the Bible. Now, this third trumpet sound, from that point until this point, after that mountain crashed, um, if you look into Muslim culture, this is where cultures relate. They intertwine. The history of, of religions are culture. And culture is one because we all started in one place, in one town. We can say Adam and Eve, we can say descendants, whatever you want to call it. They all, we all link to one place. Okay? So Muslim culture tells me, what does this mean? We all started in the Garden of Eden. Garden of Eden was every piece of land together at one point in time on this earth before the dinosaur period. 
there were man and there were mankind. That is the study of the Moors. You'd have to look up the study of the Moors to understand what I'm talking about. Two different types, man and mankind. God's creation was man. The devil's creation was mankind. And the only difference is when God kicked out the, the son for creating the first sin, first Adam and Eve were kicked out from a special secluded place in the garden into a larger place that was desolate. And they lived there with their families and made it began working from the sweat of their brow to give them an intelligence to work off the land at that point and to give birth through pain. But when Cain killed Abel, he committed the first uh, mutation in human, in man. And he was kicked out into a more vast place. But it says that he was afraid when he was sent out. He was afraid. And God marked him so that all would know not to touch him. Now, where I'm going with this is that what race of people is the only people we know not to touch all over the world it doesn't matter where so the descendants of Abraham who are they the descendants of Joshua who are they but then there are another people that live amongst God's people claiming because Adam and Eve were still making babies and family so they were still prospering and those descendants from that family is where Abraham comes from and his seven sons spread without throughout the world but something else was out there. We don't know why the dinosaur period really happened. We hear the stories of angels coming down through the book of Enoch. And if that's the case, when they mated with the mankind and created an abomination, God was wiping it out through the dinosaur era. Our history doesn't go back that far to tap into millions of years ago. There's a reason why. I can give you theory. It was wiped out through ice, then it was wiped out through fire. The next elements that we know of are wind and water. And that comes from just watching movies. You, you know that the, the major elements of this earth. What was that movie? Um, Airbender. <laughs> so now we have the gods of the air flying airplanes. So we're battling the gods of the air right now in this world. I mean, how do you want to look at it? The answers are still going to lead to one thing. Who's running that stuff? What color are they? So the mark is a color and I will tell you scientifically, I believe this form of albinoism is a form of unnaturalism and there's an unnatural behavioral type that comes with it, which is this power and this need for control that no other race sees the need for, no other colored sees the need for it, would be able to live in a, a form of peace having their own Okay, so there's not much we can do about that because we've allowed the abomination to gain power. So this has been happening for how many millions of years now? So there's a audacity to be in control now. There's a, 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 a strong attitude and atmosphere is conducive towards them being in control. Um, and it's our own fault because we never used our history and our our bloodline to conquer it but let me just prove something to you we're in the third trumpet sound era right now and that evidence is about water and let me explain the third trumpet is the sound of a great star that falls on the earth poisoning a third of the planet's fresh water resources, such as rivers and springs, men will die from drinking this bitter taste. And this is in Revelations 8, uh, 10 through 11. Now, what you see after this scripture, I had written this. God gives me visions. This is also how I know um, my time keeping is correct. God had me clean the water supply. Um... And it says, willing me the vision to, so his people were protected already from this catastrophe, just keeping watching sicknesses around the world. That's something that all God's prophets are probably doing. And this happened in 2013, the year of uh, Jubilee. God brought all the prophets and apostles and pastors up to speed with some of the things that are going on in the spirit realm. When I say spirit realm, there's a group of people that travel in God. Just like there's a group of people who travel in witchcraft. And when we travel with God and Holy Spirit, we see the same things that um, you are tormented by. 
And when we go, we can come into your area, we can come into your city, we can go across the country in spirit. And when we go, we're sent as warriors and intercessors and we are praying and we are canceling bullets and we are canceling death and we are seeing sickness and we are seeing all kinds of things that are being put on you in night when you sleep. A separate series I'm doing is called Consciousness and Unconsciousness. If you learn your power in consciousness versus unconsciousness, then a lot of this will make sense. How open your eyes are when you're woke is how open they are when you're asleep. How closed they are when you're woke is how closed they are when you're asleep. If you go through this world not really knowing who you are, not really knowing what you're supposed to do, then that's who you are when you sleep. You're the person who's being tormented. If you're a person who never heard from God, then we are the people who are coming to you and you feel the presence of God on you, protecting you from imminent danger. These are the people who serve, people like me, people who are praying in the middle of the night, who see visions, who are operating in God and we know who we are, but we all have experienced the presence of God saving us from this world first. When we are saved from this world, we become saviors of this world through God, okay? And that was a lot to get through and that's why it's best to just go through each series separately. Uh, but since this is my intro to YouTube, I'm trying to just add a lot of things together. Um, so basically, one of the visions I saw last year, I was cleaning the water and it comes so quickly. God does things so fast. So basically, I was cleaning the water in the vision and I turned on the water in my sink and the water was just running and I just put my hand there and I just prayed for it and I didn't know what I was praying, healing water. I turned the water into healing water. There's a lot of people who probably would be dead right now if I didn't do that prayer. And we have to have faith that what we're doing is real, whether we see it or not, we just know. And then this was after what happened in Florida. You remember the oil, the oil issues we've been having. And um, there was an explosion down there underwater and it's been proven, it's all around the news that it's killing the water system. It's killing off everything. And the reason I say, we don't really exactly know how our water is filtered to know where it's coming from. So you need to be better educated on what's happening with the water supply. Fresh water that we have in our sink is cycled through many houses and through many different regions and everything before it even gets to your sink and into your toilet. It's the same water you're taking a bath in. And there's a chemical that they're putting in the water to make it look clear. But if they stop putting that chemical in the water, you'd be surprised to see all the doo-doo and the pee and the parasites that are in Africa when you turn your nose up at it. It's the same water. Um, ours, we're lucky to have a, and blessed to have a filtration system that filters out a lot of that gunk. But I can tell you there's some people who don't do their jobs just like we're people who don't do our jobs when we're on the job and we cut back. Those same people are cleaning the water supply. So when you're lazy on your job, you're thinking about the people who are being lazy at McDonald's and the people who are being lazy with the water and the things that you really need. Because we're all the same people. Um, so basically the water's been attacked. We've been getting sick from water. People are putting pharmaceutical drugs in the water. And, killing dying from Lyme. I mean, this is the period in time. Think now, I'm talking about a period in time from the last trumpet to the this trumpet. And this trumpet now to the next trumpet is the, um, a greater explosion of filth in water. We've already had filth in water and deaths. Now you're gonna see an increase in that. And let me show you what I'm talking about. La la, I don't think I did that one. I'm gonna show you live. I think there's nothing better to do than to show you live. So I hope everyone's watching my screen as I take you through the steps of what I do on a regular basis. So I just simply type in water supply issues in the United States. Propose deaths. Radon. Where does this radon come from? Florida. Well, if you don't believe me, I mean I move really fast. I know I'm going to find it. What leaked in Florida into the water? Yeah. 
these are off official uh, websites, by the way. I'm not uh, very a uh, very special person when it comes to this. I'm just a natural person looking up stuff. Leaks. Killing fish in Florida. <sighs> okay, you seen the word molasses. I want you to see how this information is hidden. Now, if molasses is real, then it won't have any artificial ingredients. What you're about to see is the truth of what we are going through in this world today. A lot of us don't know what's in everything that we're using. So now you see, there's. did you know there was different kinds of molasses? You have molasses, cane molasses, sugar molasses, and then it says other forms. Now, one of the main things they have us eating nowadays is this word right here, pomegranate right that's something that a lot of people were eating and they've been promoting this pomegranate fruit as like a really good fruit to eat now who sees this hookah okay i want you to see something right now how this ties together and then we have all these other things that we use on our foods it's interesting to know that all this comes from molasses now, the reason I know what to go and look for is because, I don't know, my brain just analyzes like that. Um, but I want to take you through this. This is what I would read right here. And I did have 10 years in pharmacy. So I would be reading what is the sugar content and what is the non-sugar content. And I would see something like biotin. And I know that's uh, something that's in chewing gum. And then I don't like any of these right here. Betadine and raffinose. If I've never, it's not natural, then it's been chemically made and things get difficult to identify. Now, what I want to do is click the most common thing that's been advertised because this is a mass um, way of people hurting themselves comes from what we've been introduced to do and we just follow. And notice how everything keeps linking to Islam and Iran. Just notice this. Why would they tell me this fruit comes from Iran? This is the number one place now that we've been at war with. And then I want you to also see this Babylonian, the book of Exodus. Do you see it? all this? The Quran. So now I want you to notice something. This is religious. Does anyone else see this as cultural issues? The pomegranate has been mentioned in these ancient texts. They are used in baking, smoothies, and alcoholic bed beverages. All right. Um, you think I'm off topic, but I'm really not. It takes an abstract mind to sift through information. Uh, let me see, let me see. You're going to be a surprise when all this ties together. Anytime I see the word Latin, I know things link together. In Italian, see how this is international fruit? There's a reason. And here we are again, all these nations that we are at war with, linked to this fruit, culturally, and even people we've been at war with before. All right, hold on one second. Now we're getting to some good stuff. All right, we got all these acids in the oils. We've got some dietary fiber. And I don't like flavonoids. Flavonoids is not good. So now I want you to see all this stuff that's in this fruit. Uh, I want you to look at riboflavin, niacin. This is going to cancel out and hide because this covers up smoking the effects of smoking it's a detox so this is what this is what they're advertising when they advertise one item and tell you how good it is for you they may be picking out one thing that is helping you the vitamin b in this fruit is helping you uh the folate in this fruit is helping you the vitamins in this fruit is helping you basically 
But what we don't know, chemi chemistry. The chemistry tells me this may be too much. This may be too much, uh, too much in this fruit over a period of time. So now I'm going to go to Raiden. What did it say? Radon or Raiden? Let's see. Where was I? R-A-D-O-N. What is the chemical breakdown of radon? I love Wikipedia because I usually have the formulas already in there. All right, so we've got, that is a radioactive gas. And it is uranium and thorium in decay. And the health life is only 3.8 days. Thorium and radium. Their decay product is radium. La 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 la. Okay, so radon is a contaminant that affects indoor air quality. Now, according to the United States, radon is the second most frequent use cause of lung cancer after cigarette smoking. And that would be the main reason why secondhand smoke would kill as well if your cigarette is emitting radon. Um, let me see. Okay. Okay, radon can be oxidizing such as fluorine or forming radon difluoride. So isn't this stuff we clean our house with? We're supposed to be cleaning our house with chemicals that are decreasing air quality. You, you see that? Um, that's why they tell you be careful about mixing chemicals because they know the chemical that they're giving you is already killing you. Oh, notice how all these names are popping up. I always find one person's name that stands out to me. God just reveals which one to click. And it's always a dirty person. But I'm not going to do that today. Alright, so we see radon appearing in the decay chain of radium and uranium. And thorium. Okay, let's go back and check and see. If we see radium, thorium, anything that sounds alike is probably it in this fruit. Let me look at what they call vitamin B. A, B, C's. All right, so do we see something? Thiamine, let's go back. Do we see thiamine or thorium? Okay, thorium. Now we've got to find out if thiamine is a byproduct of thorium. Because they won't list it like that because that's just illegal to tell people you're killing them on purpose. You can't list it like that. You've got to list it. Let's see. Thorium or uranium. So we're looking for that or uranium. What is this? It could be uranium, but I don't know. Okay, see it says it is a derivative by an enzyme thiamine pyphrostatase. And I just made that up, pyphrostatase, because I don't know how to pronounce it. This is a chemical background of this substance, which is already studied by the government. All right, let's not too much information on it. So I'm going to have to figure this out. This is the synthesis. All right, let me just do this. Let me type in byproducts of thorium. Well, 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 now we know what happened to the water supply.
because that's what we're always fighting for, fuel. Now, now you have seen firsthand how I link things. And I don't think anybody's brain could ever do that except one person in the whole wild world. But now we see, and this is so, this is the funny part. It's going to tell me everything I need to know. Look at this, the 1960s molten salt reactor experiment, thistle fuel in the salt reactors. Now I know what to look for in, where are we? The EPA. Radon, we did all that searching for radon. Okay, the EPA was never important to me. I, I, I was not. Okay, I was trying to prove radon was in the water supply. Not just the drinking water, but part of what happened in Florida because I'm also proving to you this third trumpet sounds. This is what we're going through is contamination on a large scale of water. So I really can't tell you how well I am at doing this. I started with radon. Then I can prove some stuff is going on naturally. Okay, this is where I got off track. I hit molasses. I don't know why I knew to even hit molasses. Who would know to hit the word molasses? Then we hit molasses and found out some of the active ingredients in molasses is in all the foods that we're eating as well as the famous fruit that we're eating as well as being put in the water supply. So now we've got to go back and read molasses and find out if we have three times the amount of a daily dose because that's three times we're exposing ourselves to it, right? Within a day. So now we can go, this is just one of the items that is in this fruit. Okay, let's go back to molasses. Let me stay focused. All right, so now we're back to molasses. This is why people tell you sugar is bad. So now sugar or molasses, which is really radon or thiamine, un, um, undercover agent. But this is in our sugar, which we put on our pancakes, right? Where do we see that? Syrup, brown sugar. I don't even know what this other stuff is. Anything that's caramelized, some special breads, and the let alone, what is this stuff up here? Certain rices. Look, that looks like my tooth when it rotted. Um, anyways, that is all under, what did we find? Other forms of molasses. Not the pure forms, which is the sugar beet molasses or the cane molasses. So this is what our old folks would tell us that we should be eating and la 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 this is what's in ethyl alcohol. Now this is where you can be finding out where whether old people knew what they were talking about or not because old people knew it was better to get natural things and say oh you need, you need to get the bootstrap. Okay and this is the stuff they were using in cattle feed in the 1870s. Not anymore, I'm sure, you know, the active ingredient in that is corn. Now, up here, I'm back to Latin. The Latin word for honey, molasses varies in the amount of sugar and extraction by the age of the plants. Okay, I can stop this search now. I did what I needed to find. I linked the water supply to theorium, thorium, which was hidden under the word molasses, which was an active ingredient that led me to radon and radon's byproducts being thorium, which is really not a byproduct at all because it's going to show to be a current thing that is going on in the world right now. We can see uranium. We see all these things that they tell us is so dangerous, but this is the stuff that's in fuel and this is the stuff that's leaking into our fish. So now who's the country with the most issues? Bam, bam, bam. Right? All right. And the word fluorides. Remember we saw fluorides earlier? So guess who's going to click this one? Because I see fluorides. Well, here's a laboratory I didn't know existed. And they're worth a billion dollars. And they're in a primarily white state with only 4,000 members covering a huge piece of land. And it's a government entity. So let's see what they're doing at this laboratory. What's the most recent thing they're doing? Assisting the president. Oh, and they call this clean energy. They're trying to get better at killing people. 
So basically, oh my gosh, we can really find out some stuff, right? Let's see, they have more than one facility. They're doing, look at all the stuff that comes with water and chemicals. This is just one place. So how can you bring down the government? They're, they're too big. They have independent people working for them now. And you'll, you'll never know who it is until you get on Wikipedia and Google, two places they tell you not to be. Let's go to news. See what's new in news. Oh, biofuel hydrocarbon conversion technology. Nuclear science and engineering. What is this? Microscopy system, real-time view of battery electrochemistry. Simulation neurons. And large-scale additive manufacturing system. Additive manufacturing system. Additives are very important. No one would think to look there. Let's see. Let's see what we can do with this system. This machine can print large polymer parts faster and more cheaply than other technologies to increase the efficiency of manufacturing and cleaning products. Did you know there was an Office of Energy Efficiency and Renewable Energy? <laughs> I sure didn't. Now it tells you it's the single. That means there is no other. The largest supporter of basic research in the physical sciences is working to address some of the pressing issues of our time. Let's go for more information and find out exactly what this very small, seems to be not important web page is linked to. Now you're starting to see, isn't this chemistry? Hmm? Heavy hydrogen? What is this budget telling me? More money, 2015. They want to not only know and be good at all the things they've been doing, but they're learning. Light ways of expanding new materials. Mm, 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 mm. They are into some big stuff. All of this is from water and air water and air i want you to see guys water and air water and air you can find out the schools that are supporting this mess you can find out all the name why do these companies why do these places become number one princeton because they're involved in helping the government do these things what is this nuclear physics and stuff i'm not a nuclear physicist but i can sense imminent danger when it's around but they're all working with chemicals such as molasses. I think that's very interesting to know that um, that's what's in our water and air. Radon, what does that mean? Fall down on your faces and cry because the end is near? No, there's people praying for you. You don't have to do anything, get saved. Start reading too. Know how to pray for yourself and your family every day. That's the third trumpet. And when they get done fighting water and air, the international companies and the people making the money, and they wind up killing themselves over it. And, and one man's great brilliant idea turns into the backstabbing of himself and the nation of the United States. Then who's going to be ready to take care of all the fallen bodies? And who's going to have the food, the clean food, to take care of each other? God's people. So who's going to be knocking on my door? All of you guys pretty soon. And if I don't get from this website to saving some food, I'm not going to have any to give to you either. So that's what we should be doing. Working very hard to pay attention to what's going on so we can be ahead of the game. Not think that we're hopeless in the middle of the game because many of us are equipped to take care of these problems. If we save enough food, we can save 10 canned goods a month and be ready. Because the oil reserves and the fuel reserves, whatever you want to call it, they're going to last for how many years? So we know we've got 30 years under our pockets, basically. We should be able to do something and just watch them kill themselves, pray for the innocents, get into the spirit realm, start standing in front of bullets and standing in front of chemical warfare if we have to. We should be on a whole nother level. If a prophet tells you that they've just been praying for you and you've been on their mind, you need to question whether that's a true prophet. Is a true prophet can see what you're suffering right now. Why you're in the hospital is because of what you're eating and what you're drinking and what you're breathing and what you're putting yourself around. It's not your fault at all. And why your teeth are falling out. You're not the only person. I have one gone too. 
Why? We're eating fluoride, fluorine, number one ingredients. They, they're promoting it around the world and we're killing ourselves at a young age. Okay? No one is to blame. We're God's slaves. We're slaves, not God's slaves. We're these people's slaves. Helping them with the system. So you see where your dollars are going? You see where you would send your child? To Princeton. And where did they go? To the same system that's killing all these people. That you paid your good money not to be a part of. And now you sent your son or daughter to lead the death. So I'm very proud of you Harvard attendance right now. And you Princeton attendance right now. You guys are really making a freaking difference. I want you to know you are the kings and queens that will fall. That's just the way God wrote the law. And I'm here to uphold that law. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not going to go to Princeton and Harvard. I'm not going to help you guys do anything else. I bust my butt and got $50,000 in, in loans for going to school to get a degree. To sit in this house today just to be thinking critically while I was going all those years to figure out a way to stop you. To educate those about you. And that's what you see here. And here's the school that I went to. Let's see which side is it on. Clayton State University. That is my school. Hallelujah. So, didn't take all that. And it definitely didn't need to cost $50,000. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know. I love America. I love the people. I'm not going to fight. I'm not going to help them chemically because I know what's going on. I know what the war is really about. I know what seizure and conquering really is. I uh, thank you for the education to teach me to not do that. Um, and I wish all God's people great progress and great pro uh, a, a great. I hope that God delivers to you a really concrete plan on how to solve the issues. And I'll tell you what they are every time we study. I'll remind you right now the issue is going to be what do we do next? What do we do next? We're supposed to be ahead and not behind. That's how you become the, the head and not the tail. Don't be religious on me and say head and tail. Oh, riches versus poverty. Okay. Even the rich man of this earth had a plan. And when you give up your plan and just read, that's all you are as a scholar. That's all you are. We need your scholarly skills in this world. So get off your religious high horses. Get out there, learn some information, share the information, save some people for real, and not sit on your wealth because you are just proving that you are going to be the fallen kings. I'm talking to you pastors too. I'm talking to all you people who have sat as idols on your throne, running this world. If you run this world without saving people's lives and seeing the stuff that I see, these next nations are not going to listen to you anymore. And your kingdoms are falling so fast. They're falling so fast you don't even see it. And it's within God's plan. And that makes me happy. I don't need a church. I don't need a title. I'm just a chick that's very smart. And I thank God for helping me be very smart. And I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of what's happening. What can happen to me. I'm here to live my life. And try to help some of you people who need to know what is going on. <laughs> it's been a blessing. If you want to leave comments, I will finish this read with you. I will investigate more for you. Man, just give me a topic. Give me a word. I'll find it. I promise I'll link it. I'll give you the answer you've been looking for. We can get into Illuminati. We can get into chemical warfare. We can get into all kind of stuff. The sky's the limit. And thank God for a world wide web where we can actually get, and I'll show you how to get from the United System to the outside United System. We won't be able to understand any of it because it'll be in another language. But I can get you there. It's a start. All right. God bless.